Did you see that after ChatGPT was released, every single company added AI to their functionality? Doesn't really matter if company needs it or not. I watched as a lot of developers struggle with AI-generated code, or companies who were trying to go fully with AI, bring developers back and rewrite project without AI. So I noticed a pattern, we are moving now past AI hype. And that's a good thing. So by the end of this video you will learn about the situation nowadays and also why I think that AI won't replace programmers completely. And just from the beginning I want to say AI is not going anywhere, yes, everybody are using AI every single day and it will stay the same. But the most important point here for programmers is that AI won't replace them at all. When ChatGPT was released, everybody thought, okay, programmers are not needed anymore, we now have AI, this is why lots of companies tried to go to that direction and fire developers, because now one or two people with using AI can generate the same project. But is that really true? So what picture do we have nowadays? First of all, generated code of AI can contain bugs. You can't simply generate code, throw to production, it just won't work, it is not safe. I don't know any companies where people are doing it on a regular basis and it works. AI here is our helper in writing code, it should not be a leader, which actually means it can have outdated concept, it can solve your problem in a wrong or less performant way, and it can't replace things like system design or deep problem solving. And this is exactly what we are doing in my middle to senior bootcamp. We focus on knowledge that will separate you from other developers and bring you to a senior position. But this is from the coding perspective. How does it look for companies nowadays? The main important point here is the cost of maintenance. It is not possible to simply use AI and generate project feature by feature. It doesn't work like that. The amount of code that AI will write for you is typically much larger than senior developer will like and a lot of people are complaining constantly about this. Basically it means that code quality is much lower with AI and much less safe. And anyway you need people who can understand and support the code that was generated. And additional important point here is data privacy. For example, in Europe there are a lot of legal questions about using AI because all servers are situated in USA and it is really easy to leak customers' data with using AI. And I got lots of comments before in all my videos that AI will take over programmers' jobs, that we are doomed and that it doesn't make any sense to invest your time in career as a programmer. I think that now it is different. Companies and developers start realizing that AI is not a silver bullet. Companies even start thinking if they need AI features in their project at all or they are simply going with hype. So the focus of all people is switching back to only use AI when it makes sense. And that is a good thing for everybody. Because now we start using AI just as a helper tool, not as a complete replacement. And this is great, because until this point, sometimes we have just crazy projects. I saw some services which help developers or companies fix their AI-generated code, which basically means they are simply selling developers to fix code that was generated by AI. It just doesn't make sense, AI must help you, not bring problems that other developers must fix. So I still think that programmers won't go anywhere. Yes, sure, with the help of AI, you don't need to learn all this nitty-gritty syntax of every single function in JavaScript. All basic stuff in languages is something that AI can help you with, but all advanced senior knowledge is something that can't be replaced. And additionally to that, I think that a lot of people are mixing AI with economical problems across the world. Yes, a lot of companies are cutting their costs, they are hiring less developers than they were doing 10 years ago, and they get only people when they really need them. The situation was different before, and the amount of money that AT was getting was much higher. But I don't really think that all these costs are only related to AI. From my perspective, it is more related to the economical situation in all countries. But you must understand that AI still touches some developers, and this is the junior group. 
because essentially this is what AI can do the best. So it is important for you to learn everything that you need to know and come to senior role as soon as possible. This is why I created for you a free PDF with the checklist and the 30 days plan which can help you to improve your knowledge and become a real senior. And you can download it for free in the description under the video.